<gasps> a few books talked about quite quickly. Uh -oh. Look, there they are. Talk about them quite quickly. Listen with me, if you will. From Living Ghosts and Mischievous Monsters, written by Dan Sasawa Jones from the Ponca Nation. Monsters. There are many monsters in American Indian cultures, as you can imagine. Great monsters and small monsters of every shape and description. Some monsters hunt people and even eat them. Others terrorize your sweet dreams and turn them into blood-curdling nightmares. But then, after a dark night's storm, you may find massive footprints near your home or the still warm skin of a stripped animal. You know, monsters exist when someone leaves home and never returns. Spirit Hunters by Ellen O. I love this book. It is a chilling, thrilling horror novel, and it made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Meet 13-year-old Harper Rain. She and her family just moved to Washington, D.C., and she's working on her memory because she doesn't remember things in the past. And how she does that is by writing in her journal. And she has a name for her journal. Harper's Stupid DC Journal. She does not like it. But weird things are happening. Like her little brother is having violent temper tantrums. <gasps> and wherever she goes, she feels cold and like a menacing feeling. And she's also having blood curdling nightmares. How can Harper help? If she can't even remember her past, read Spirit Hunters by Ellen O. We can all agree that cavemen were the first to use tools, right? After all, a tool is just a functional object made or found that is not part of the user. Well, so we all thought for millions of years until the 1960s when Jane Goodall and her groundbreaking research with chimpanzees showed that animals are intelligent and able to craft things to better their environment. Richard, the author of this book, also talks about how Capetian monkeys clean their boogers, how Dolphins use sponges to hunt, and how baby orangutans gather leaves and hug them at night, just like a doll. Read more fascinating facts in this book by Richard Haynes. Meet Leah Park. She lives in a quiet community in California, and all she wants to do is fit in, but her parents are overprotective. Leah is both unpopular and a no magic, but she thinks if she works really, really hard that she'll be accepted to the International Magical Academy next year. Fast forward and Leah gets an invitation to Dior's bus and birthday party. Dior is the most popular girl in school but Leah's overprotective parents forbid her from going. And Leah freaks! So she sneaks out of the house and goes anyway. But unwittingly, she opens the door to her own magic. And in doing so, she lets loose a villainous spirit who kidnaps her parents. She is so desperate to rescue her parents, but she doesn't know how. How will she find the missing jewel? And will her 
Magic Save Her Parents? Read Leah Park and the Missing Jewel by Jenna Yoon.